<laughs> hey, welcome back, Kid Bunko Hi. family. I've got Fuzzy here. Hi. It's Snowy. We're glad to see you. Obviously, you guys are here because you hit the notification button and let you know we have a new story. Yeah. And like, the beauty of that is you get to be the first to comment because we have questions about the scene, about the book, about life. And when you comment, we give you a growl. And a snowy, snowy shout out. Yeah. And don't keep it to yourselves, guys. Share. I know. Share with your friends. It's so magical. Like it and subscribe. Right. This story's called My Penguin Osbert. If you look behind us, we've got a penguin. Mm hmm. If you can tell us what type of penguin that is, the growl out and the shout out will come your way. Let's get reading. Candy cane. We've uh, had a few misunderstandings in the past. For instance, last year I asked for a fire engine red race car with a detachable roof, a lightning bolt on the side, and retracting headlights and he did not get me one. But it was only three inches long, and the year before, I had really wanted a trampoline. I wasn't sure how to spell it, so in my letter I just sort of described what I wanted. Santa sent me a pogo stick. Oh, hmm. He probably said, Close. I want to bounce up and down. Mm -hmm. So this year, I was really, really careful. I wrote Santa a long letter and told him that I would like to have my own pet penguin. Not a stuffed penguin, but a real one from Antarctica. I told him my penguin should be one foot tall, white and black, with a yellow beak, and his name should be Osbert. Okay. I included a drawing, I put extra package on the envelope, and I sent it off a whole month early. Then I waited. When Christmas morning came, I was the first one downstairs. There he was. He was black and white with a yellow beak, and exactly 12 inches tall. That, that's a foot. Mm, that was yeah. In, yep. 12, 12 inches is a foot, and 2.54 centimeters is one inch, guys. Mm. He was moving and breathing and everything. And around his neck was a tag. It said, hello, my name is Osbert. Santa had come through. Oh, nice. I wanted Osbert to meet everybody. I wanted to take him to my room. Plus, I wanted to open my other presents. But Osbert really wanted to go outside and play. It was pretty cold and kind of windy, too. There was a foot or two of snow on the ground and no sun. A foot, that's 12 inches. Two feet is 24 inches. Mm. Wow. But I had asked for Osbert and now I had him. So we went outside. We played powder slide and wreck the igloo. We had snowball fights and made ice penguins. We escaped from the jaws of imaginary leopard seals. Osbert wanted to go swimming, but I explained it. Might not be possible. So we sang some of the old penguin songs instead. Well, I don't know any of those. Mm -hmm. Now let's see what they have in mind. That night, I was ready to go to straight to bed. We'd had such a big day, but Osbert wanted to take a bath. He filled the tub to the very top and we got in. Osbert unwrapped all the bars of soap and floated them around like icebergs. After a while, I had pruned fingers and my skin itched from all the soap, but I had asked for Osbert and now I had him and Osbert like playing in a cold bath. The next morning, mom said she'd make anything I wanted for breakfast. When I closed my eyes, I saw a stack of chocolate chip waffles with heated syrup, a platter piled high with fried sausages, and an icy pitcher of freshly squeezed mango juice. But Osbert doesn't like rich food, and he doesn't like hot food, and he doesn't like sweet food. Osbert wanted cold creamed herring, which is a type of fish, mm -hmm. with seaweed jam for breakfast. So that's what we had. Oh, I bet that smelled terrible. After my breakfast, it was my turn to do chores. So I did the dishes and went upstairs to clean my room. When I came back down, I saw that Osbert had been working too. He had built an entire ice village out of freezer pops, <laughs> frozen leftovers, and tubs of ice cream. It was all beginning to melt. Osbert, of course, couldn't hold a towel in his flippers. But I had asked for Osbert, and now I had him. So I cleaned up the mess myself. It sounds like getting a pet. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of care involved. That afternoon when Osbert was watching the Weather Channel on cable TV, I secretly wrote Santa another letter. Dear Santa, how are you and Mrs. Claus? We are fine. Thank you for the great penguin named Osbert. We take cold baths together and have creamed herring for breakfast. I'm getting used to spending all day in the snow. Plus, it turns out I didn't have frostbite after all. Your friend Joe. P.S. I think that stands for postscript. Mm -hmm. That means like after the letter, I got a little extra to add. 
One more thing, Santa. If you feel like maybe I should have asked for a different present and you want to swap, that would be okay. And while Osbert was leafing through a snow globe catalog, I snuck out and mailed the letter. Hmm. Oh, he feels sad that he's writing this letter behind Osbert's back. A couple of days later, I woke up to find a package in the front of my bed. There was a tag with name on it, signed Santa. Inside the box was a red pullover sweater and two free passes to the grand opening of Antarctic World at the zoo. After Osbert made a shrimp sculpture out of the wrapping paper, he wanted to get right away, but he didn't want to take the bus. The zoo was a long way away, but I had asked for Osbert and now I had him, so we walked. When we got to Antarctic World, Osbert headed straight for the Penguin Palace. There was a huge snowy hill with an ice slide leading down to a big pool. There were leopard seals painted on the walls. Tiny bergs of real ice were floating in the water. And then a door opened in the wall. And a guy came out and started tossing creamed herring to all the penguins. When it got to be closing time, I said, Osbert, we have to leave. He waddled over to me, but I knew he felt at home in the Penguin Palace and everything he needed. Osbert was the first Christmas present Santa ever gave me that I really wanted. I had asked for Osbert and I had gotten him. But Osbert needed ice slides and leopard scales and plenty of herring. I asked him if he would be happier living at the Penguin Palace. Osbert looked into my eyes and then he nodded. It's a little lonely at home without Osbert and my new sweater itches my neck a little bit right under my chin. But it's nice to be warm and I had chocolate chip waffles for breakfast. Next Saturday is a kids free visit day at the Antarctic world. I don't have bus fare, but I could walk. I'll wear my red sweater and so Osbert will be sure to recognize me. And next Christmas is only 11 months away. I thought about it a lot and I already know what I want. I'm, I'm sure, sure I can't, can't get into too, too much trouble with just, just one, one helicopter. helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> sure you oh, can. That is such a funny kid. We thank you kids for joining along. I think the question of the day might be something about a measurement. Mm -hmm. What is one foot equal to in inches? Yeah, go back to the beginning. Mm, good question. Unless you already know it, drop it in the comments. We're going to give you a And a snowy, snowy shout out. Make and, sure you like, yeah. share, subscribe. Subscribe. Candy cane. Candy cane. Okay, oh, one arm bubble. Bye. Hee <laughs>